What's up guys? Welcome back to Hobby Vault. My name is Skylar. Let's get right into the video. Now, if you are here today, it's probably because you are brand new to the art, the hobby, the beautifulness that is Gunpla building. Gunpla, Gundam, whatever it is that you call it, or if you're a baby, 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 baby brand new person, Gundam is Gunpla. Gunpla is freedom. You will learn that on your journey. I am here to guide you into the magical world of all the different grades that are available when it comes to Gundam kits. You just go through the aisles and you're like, what the heck is an SD? What's an HG? Do I want a PG? What is a high res? What is all this stuff? So I am here to help you figure out what kits to start with, make sense of all the madness. And then eventually you'll become obsessed just like me and all of my lovely friends here at my Instagram. Give it a follow, my community is amazing and I talk to people all the time. So if you have any questions, I will be more than happy to help. Please feel free to leave them in the comment section or go to my Instagram community. You can comment there as well and we will get you an answer, I promise. I will make another video, I will answer your question. I got you, don't worry, let's go. Now, before we start, I do want to note that there are plenty of no grade kits, third party kits, different variations of the common kits I'm going to be covering in this video and it kind of makes it hard to make a very detailed video that's not an hour long. I'm going to be going over the most common kits you will find. So, the first grade that we're going to go over is going to be SD. SD stands for Superior Defender or Super Deformed. That means these kits are going to be relatively easy to make, low details, they will come with decals, and yeah, they're going to be very basic. If you're aware of what chibis are, that's pretty much what you're going to be building here. So, I will show you the inside of the box really quick. It is going to have just a couple of runners, as you can see here. And yeah, they're fairly big pieces. This kit will end up being about this big. Some of them are a little bit bigger, but for your basic SDs, they're pretty cool. Their manuals are gonna look a lot like MGs, SDs uh, are not nowhere near an MG. MGs are far superior, but I like SDs and I have so many SDs it's ridiculous just because they're cute. So if you're trying to get your girlfriend into Gundam, this is how you do it, guys. <laughs> you get an SD, a cute little Zaku 2, and you let her build it alongside you and it'll keep her preoccupied. And you know what? Who knows? Maybe she'll fall in love with Gundam building just like you, right? <laughs> but anyways, I don't think that they're a bad starting place for some people. If you've never done a plastic model kit before, it's not a bad way to start. You get the runners, you get to use your side nippers and everything like that, and you kind of get the basic concept of building them. They are so cute. Now, these will have a variation called an SD silhouette. An SD silhouette will share parts with the next grade that I'm gonna be showing you here soon, an HG. The frame will be similar to an HG and you'll be able to put HG parts on an SD. Our next kit is going to be what most of you are probably gonna to wanna to start with. It is called an HG or a high grade kit. It's going to have a decent amount of detail, a pretty good price point, so it's not crazy expensive. It's a good entry level for someone who wants to do something that's maybe not as kiddie-ish as maybe an SD would be considered. This is one of my favorite suits. So as you can see here, you're going to have a little bit more weapons, a little bit more detailing on it. It is a lot bigger box. And like I said, you know what? It's probably gonna be where you wanna start. So you're not plunging too much money into anything and you're getting your feet wet with actually model building. HGs are very fun to also learn to paint on, which I will cover in a later video. But yes, like I said, a little bit more detail, pretty good, pr pretty good price point. Anywhere from about, mm, some of them can be like $12, but this is, this is a little bit nicer kit because it is the double Zeta. Um, so, you know, sometimes they're like 32 bucks, 32 bucks tops but that's for the special edition one. What you will see here is that they have way more runners than the SD does. They will have just a few um, decals to use. And as you can see, like I said, way more runners. This is gonna be what your manual is gonna look like. It's gonna be a lot bigger and a lot nicer. Sometimes they have storylines and stuff inside them. If you go ahead and use Google Translate, you'll be able to translate the Japanese. I suggest these kits for most beginners that don't wanna just do the SD Gundam. Um, 
most people start with the HGs. Now, that being said, don't let anyone tell you what kind of grade kit you should start with. Start with whatever you want. If you want to start with the PG, by all means do, because everyone starts somewhere, everyone starts on what they want, and I say the biggest rule of thumb is you choose the kit that you like, the suit that you like, and build the kit. Just start. Just start. Don't let the hesitation of not knowing what you're doing stop you from doing it. Just start. But general rule of thumb, you're a beginner, you're here because you don't know what the grades are. HGs, you really can't go wrong. So the next thing I'm gonna do, I am going to show you what is called an RG or a real grade. Real grade kits are gonna be a lot more details, a little bit more expensive, but higher quality, um, but the same scale. This is 1144. You will see the scale grade show up on these boxes often. So if you're looking at a real grade or you're looking at an HG, they're usually 1144. So hope that helps. We're moving on to the real grade. It's time to get real. <laughs> real, real grade. We're getting real about the grades. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Anyways. This is a real grade. As you can see here, hopefully it focuses, it says excitement embodied. And by far, yes, it is excitement embodied. This is good old RX-78 version two, Grandpa Gundam, as we like to call it. Here it is here. You can tell that the artwork is just a little bit nicer than the HGs. They're full frame, so it's not just part of a frame here. As you can see, a little bit more detailing. Now. What makes these differ from the HGs is they are quite a bit more intricate. They look a little bit nicer, they're finished a bit better, they have better posability, and the price point goes up. But, I didn't really show the decals very well, but you are going to start getting an upgraded decal sheet. This is, some of them come with water slides, but water slides will go over at a different time. You will be able to apply these yourself, and these kits generally don't need to be painted, don't need to be customized. They're gorgeous just the way they are. But you get smaller pieces, quite a bit more runners. I'm not going to bore you with moving all of them out, but more runners, more intricate pieces, smaller pieces, more delicate pieces, and inevitably you are either going to break a V fin or you're gonna lose a piece into the carpet and that will make you one of us. <laughs> but booklet way bigger than the HG. Nicer, it's binded, it's got its little, little staples there. But yes, as you can tell, a little bit more posability, a little bit nicer sheen on the plastic. So the problem with the HGs is the, well not problem, the HGs tend to not have as shiny a plastic because they are a cheaper price point. These guys right here are usually gorgeous right out of the build. So, if you are familiar and you've built a kit before and you don't really want to start with an HG, I suggest a real grade. It is a 1144, which is the same size scale as HG is, but they are a good starting point as well if you have a little bit of familiarity with actually doing model kits. Um, so yeah, that's real grade. Next kit that we're gonna go over to and we're gonna roll on into master grade. Now it's time for the bread and butter of the Gunflow world. One of my favorite grades and one that you'll run into more often to more experienced builders. It's gonna be the MG or the master grade. Master grades are insane. You will see that they are usually a little bit more intricate. They have suits in the smaller grades that are pretty cool, but when it comes to special effect parts, really cool weapons and just gimmicks and posability. You really can't beat the MG. So, as you can see here, a lot bigger box, see? Way bigger box. Little bit more detail again, further. Now, this is where I said that there are a lot of variables. This is full blast mode here. So, extreme blast mode, sorry. This is extreme blast mode. So, she has some crazy effects on her. But as you can tell, a lot bigger, a bigger scale than the 1144. And there you go. Okay, 
Now, this is where it's gonna get a little bit more intricate. From here on out, you're gonna deal with a way more runner. Ugh! My favorite, pink effect pieces. Like, come on. Ah, you really can't tell very well in the plastic here. Obviously, I have to build. See the V-pin right there? You can tell that we have a little bit more decal. Now, the master grade is going to be a 1-100 scale. So it's going to be bigger than the 1-144, which is the real grade, and the HG. So RG and the HG are smaller than the MG here. There is a variation called RE100, which is the same thing little bit different kit. I will show you that variation soon, but I'm just gonna pull them out here for you. You can tell, way more runners, like <laughs> significantly more runners. This right here is exactly why I bought this kit. So MGs are more liable to have gimmick pieces. Gimmick pieces are going to be these really pretty, very detailed pieces. So again, the price point does go up, but most of the time, MGs come with their own bases. So they are worth the extra money for that. Here's going to be the booklet. Again, just a little bit bigger. You can tell it comes with its figures. It comes with the paint guide, all the things you would need to actually paint this kit. Little bit more illustrations than the last one has and just more pages and more things to do. So that's an MG, a master grade. The next one we're gonna go over is the RE1100. This MG actually comes with full figures. Like, pretty crazy, right? Again, like I said, there are gonna be plenty of variations between kits. Every master grade kit is not gonna look the same. Some of them are gonna be a little bit more intricate. Some of them are gonna be a little bit less intricate. But a rule of thumb is MGs are gonna be your intermediate tier for builders. I'm not gonna go too deeply into what a 1-100 is because it's the literal same scale model that an MG is. What they're gonna be is mobile suits or suits that don't have a lot of grades that are out there right now. So for instance, um, unfortunately I can't show you the RE1-100 Hama Hama because I'm currently working on it and it's in pieces. So I'm gonna show you this one. This is not technically an RE Reborn. Reborn is just another fancy way for Bandai to be like, by the way, here's a reissued suit for you. These are pretty much gonna be equivalent to your MGs. This right here is one of the more gorgeous 1-100s. So they are again, a little bit higher quality plastic, little bit better coating. This one has a gold coating. One of the few kits to actually have it at this time when this was issued. So again, this kit is gonna be gorgeous. And surprisingly enough, I have not built this yet, but they're gonna be a little bit chonkier. <laughs> they're a little bit bigger boxes, but again, for all intention purposes, as a brand new beginner, this is just another master grade. So let's open it here. Again, about a similar amount of runners as you would get from the other MGs. The gold effect parts are what makes this one a, a little bit more special. But like I said, a little bit more specialized reissued suit. This did get a real grade shortly after I got this. I do not own that one, but I was like, what the heck? <laughs> So that does happen. So be aware that if you get a kit, it's probably gonna get a reissue, it's probably gonna get better. So in other words, more reason not to freak out if you build a kit and it doesn't come out perfect. But here's your booklet. Again, better, better illustrations, a little bit more storyline, requires a couple more tools, comes with a painting guide, everything like that the PG, the perfect grade. The one that you've heard so many people say, it's so intricate, it's so big, it's so da 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 But look, listen, you do what makes you happy. You want a perfect grade? Get a perfect grade. I am going to show you my favorite kit that I love so much, I haven't built it yet. <laughs> so let's move on to the final grade, perfect grade. Let's go. But this here, I probably can't even get it in this frame <laughs> properly. This is my baby. This is a perfect grade. This is wing. 
zero custom. As you can see, this is the Endless Waltz Edition. It is gorgeous. Now, these are gonna be your highest price point. They are literally insane. If you take your time, they will take you a couple of months. Now, <laughs> I'm sure there are some builders that are gonna be in the comments here. They're like, no, I did it in a week. That's on you, got you. I am super intricate when it comes to my PGs. I treat them like babies because they are. <laughs> so, I have to back up for this one. They are gonna be your highest price point, like I said, but they are so worth it. Now, these are the manuals. They have two separate manuals. This is a construction manual because it does come with screws and springs and crazy stuff like that. They require a bit more tools. And then just here's your regular instruction manual. You can tell how big it is. But literally, these guys, they are, they are amazing. They are huge, they are intricate, they will take your time, they are the biggest challenge. Most people tend to build them and they don't really paint them because they are so expensive, but I'm hoping that you get to a point in your journey where you are able to feel confident enough to go ahead and paint these. But here, it's just easier for me to pull it out. <laughs> these are the screws and the metal pieces that are gonna come inside this thing. Metal, metal composite, actual metal. So here, is how many runners you get. You see how big the box is? It is runners all the way down, effect pieces, everything. These are going to be, these are gonna be your giant projects. And again, a lot of people sometimes, if they don't wanna go ahead and get into that massive backlog like I have, <laughs> they just get PGs. It keeps them from buying too many kits. And you know what, I really don't hate it. The scale on this one is gonna be a 160. So if you see something that says 160, it is perfect grade size. It's, it's gonna be about this big. It's gonna be a monster. So actually, you know what? Subscribe to my channel and I will document me building this thing. Or at the very least, go to my Instagram. My Instagram, you'll see me build this. I've been holding off on it for so long because I care about it that much. <laughs> so, some people like to hold off on kits they like, some people like to build them right away. When it comes to Perfect Grade, I like to dedicate my entire time to them. So, that is it for Perfect Grade. Thank you for watching my video. Like I said, there are gonna be various variations of all of these kits. There are gonna be MGs that look weird, there's gonna be MGs that look bigger, there's gonna be MGs that are more intricate, HGs, SDs, all grades have different variations. So, that is it. If you have any questions about any of the grades or the variations that you might possibly run across, please feel free to send me a message on Instagram, leave a comment on my Instagram, leave a comment down below. I am more than happy to answer any of your questions. It is a lot of information. If you're lucky to have a hobby store that actually has Gundams, you're in good company. Thank you for watching my video. Please feel free to subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.